Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Steak Insanity, my carnivore diet journal. We're on day 63 today. It's the second day of March, sorry, the third of March. And we're going to mix things up this month. I, I talked last night about the fact that I was going to try and just not do my weight. <clears throat> sorry, my voice is terrible tonight. I don't know why. That I was going to do my weight once a week and all this other stuff. After having a long chat with myself today, I've decided that actually I'm not going to lock anything for this month. I'm literally just going to be on the diet. I'll still do my daily updates to talk about the other stuff that's going on, but I'm not even going to, I'm not going to track my weight. I'm not going to track my ma my macros, my calories, my steps, anything. Um, I'm just going to let it be and see what happens for the month. It was, I just think that's probably the next big test to do is just to leave it and to not have to worry about it every day. What I would like to do that will take up that brain space that I've been using, thinking about all of that stuff, is to maybe improve the channel a little bit. So I'll try and maybe come up with a little bit better production value, a few other things to do here and there, but I'll introduce them slowly over time. And hopefully it's not going to be anything too annoying, but I'm not going to go, don't worry, I'm not going to go overboard and I'm not going to start doing like, you know, demand editing or whatever the heck it's called. Uh, it's still going to be just a plain journal, but I might actually try and have a little bit at the beginning and at the end or something like that, just to, to tart it up a little bit for everybody to make it a little nicer. But I watch tons and tons of these videos myself. And I know, at least for me personally, having, you know, massive intros and all that stuff is really annoying. I'd, I'd rather people just get to it. So whatever I do will be very small. But I think just being tethered to my smartwatch all the time and feeling that I have to wear it at night when I sleep and during the day when I'm walking around and I don't want to miss any steps because I want to count them all. I just don't have the brain space for that right now. I've got a lot of stuff going on in my life. I've got all the hangover from last week, all the stuff that's going on. I'm doing a lot of new work around podcasts and audio and video production. And I've still got one foot in my old life as well, where I'm doing consulting around big data and, you know, smart cities and things like that. And so it's really, it is really taking up a lot of my brain space and I just need this diet to be as easy as possible. So hopefully that's going to be an interesting test for everybody as well to just, I'm going to see how well I'm able to just drop everything and have it not stress me out worrying about it. <clears throat> I will do a monthly weigh-in. So we'll check in at the end of the month and see where we are. Um, for those of you keeping score on the on the 29th of February, I was at 93.5 kilos. So we'll see what happens over the month. I'm going to try and be as strict as I can. Again, I want to focus my energy on doing other things than worrying about logging every bit of food that I eat and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to go sort of carnivore natural, I might call it, because there's loads of people out there and they don't, you know, I've, I've, I do watch everybody else's videos as well. I watch tons of them. I like to see what people are talking about. I like to see how they approach doing the videos as well. And I like to see what seems to resonate with viewers from other people, because I want, you know, I, I want to produce good content that people want to see. As, and that's all part of my video journal, which I mentioned in the beginning. So, you know, part of this is doing a video every day so that I can improve my video making skills. I've kind of lost track of that in getting into all the weird detail of the diet. And, and I want to get back to basics. So I'm going to be as good on the diet as I can. I will talk about that sort of stuff every day. Like, how have I been today? Was I good? Was I bad? Did something come up? Did, you know some other reason, something else jumped up in front of me, some other boss came up and I've had to fight that. And yeah, we'll just see how we get on from here. I know this week I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be at a couple of trade shows, so I'm going to be away. 
well, I'm at least going to be out of the house and in London. And luckily, I know the venue really well and I know all the food that's there. And there is there will be places for me to be able to easily stay on the diet. So I'm not really worried about that. That's going to be fine. But it's still being out of the house and you never know. There's all sorts of temptation and all sorts of things. So I will have to deal with that. But I think that everything should be pretty good. The other thing that might happen is I'm in the middle of coming up with a trying to get a deal to have a new office and it, that office will be a studio. And so that doesn't I don't have the contract yet, so I don't know anything for sure. But if everything works out, then the 15th of the month, I'll be moving my office, not my home office, but my office office into a new building where I'm going to run and manage a, a podcast studio. And what that will mean, though, is that I should have a better place and I may start trying to do the videos there instead of here in, in my home office. But I kind of enjoy doing these at the end of the day because it gives me a chance to reflect on the day. So I don't know, but it's entirely possible that I may try and do some stuff from somewhere else. So that's the update on all of that. Now, I owe everybody the month to my voice is terrible. I don't know what's going on. Um, review. So I have come up with a few bullet points for that. So I'll give you a little bit of a teaser as to what's coming. So I do want to talk about tightening down on the diet because I did get much more strict on the diet from January. Um, obviously, the, the issue around comfort eating and fighting boss battles, I think that's something that that's worth, you know, talking about. Obviously, hit a weight loss milestone and hitting a stone. So that's something to talk about as well. Um, body image. I want to go back to body image. Um running again. So I'm back in the gym. I'm able to run again on my knee. Don't know if that's 100% carnivore or if that has other factors, but that was hugely important this month. And then again, sort of talking about what's coming in March, which I'm basically doing now. So I may just leave that one out, but I'll probably put it in just in case people only watch the monthly updates and they don't watch the day to day. So those are the main things that I had. The only other thing I can think of um, that I don't want to forget is how my clothes fit. So it's not only body image, but um, it's not only body image, sorry for the typing. It's not only body image, but it's how my clothes fit and then how that makes me feel and all of that. So I'll touch on that a little bit as well. So I've got a plan. So I know what I want to talk about and I know what I'm going to do. And actually, I am literally, the last time I decided not to track myself every day, I have a Samsung smartwatch. And what I had to do last time is I literally just put it back in the box so that I wasn't even tempted to put it on. And what I will wear instead, if anybody's interested, is I have, come on, refocus. I have a moon swatch and it took me 18 months to get my moon swatch and I had to go to the swatch store all the time. Every time I was in London, I went by there and it took me ages to get it and I love it. So I'm going to wear that this month instead and I'm not going to worry about any of that other shit. So I should be happier on that front and yeah, that's pretty much it for Sunday evening. I hope everybody has an amazing week this week coming and stick on your diets. I hope everybody has a good time. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, I always answer comments. So yeah, just drop something in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.